Remember this? When Alameda County Officer Alan Strickland instigated a fight against Raptors team president Masai Ujiri, then claimed he could not work because of a jaw injury which never occurred, you would not believe the latest episode in this story. Just a quick recap. The Toronto Raptors defeated the Golden State Warriors in the 2019 NBA Finals in Oakland. After watching the final moments in the tunnel, seeing the team he built on the brink of their first ever NBA championship in franchise history, Ujiri, the first African executive ever in the league, with credential in hand, made his way to the court. Strickland confronted Ujiri, swore at him and two hands shoved him out of the way when Ujiri asked why he was doing this Strickland shoved him again point guard Kyle Lowry grabbed Ujiri to go on to the court you could see it in Masai's eyes this was a joyous historic moment and it was robbed of him by a bigoted racist officer so Strickland sued and Masai Ujiri countersued now we have the court filings, and they are, in short, absolute bonkers. Strickland, via his lawyers, claimed he was in the right. Quote, after all, this was a high-profile sporting event, which entailed a risk of crimes ranging from vandalism to assault on players. For example, the 1993 fan stabbing of tennis great Monica Seles, assaults on coaches, the 2002 assault of Royals coach Tom Gamboa by two fans, player fan brawls, the 2004 brawl involving numerous fans and players at the end of a Pistons Pacers NBA game, and even mass murder or terrorism. For example, the mass murder of Israeli athletes by terrorists at the Munich Olympics. In case you were wondering, will an officer ever own up to being wrong? In short, no. Absolutely not. Hell no. He just compared Masai Ujiri having a credential in hand and an executive at with, with the Toronto Raptors organization to terrorism. That's the spectrum we're on now and how officers see and defend themselves. But just as Mr. Ujiri had completely ignored the private security official, he completely ignored Deputy Strickland's words, his lawyers claim, gesture, an attempt at gentle, physical guidance, the document says. Let's go over physical guidance, shall we? Physical guidance, huh? Yes, Strickland physically guided Masai Ujiri the same way Officer Strickland suffered injury to his head, body, health, strength, nervous system, and person, all of which caused and continued to cause great mental, physical, emotional, and psychological pain and suffering. This stinks to high heaven because Strickland's story continues to change. He claimed Ujiri wouldn't show his credentials and that Masai attacked and hit him in the face and chest with both fists, which didn't happen. Back in June, the Alameda County Sheriff's Office claimed they had photos of Ujiri striking the deputy, but guess what? They never released him. Strickland claimed he was hit in the face. The Globe and Mail interviewed three men who were sitting within 10 feet of the altercation, and they each say they never saw Mr. Ujiri strike the officer's face. Quote, there is no fist going to his face, said Ben Baller, who sat courtside and witnessed the entire exchange. This wouldn't be the first time it's been proven Strickland has falsified statements. As a matter of fact, he was charged with felony insurance fraud and making false statements on March 31st, 1994. He was charged. The fact that this man is still receiving a paycheck and matter of factly being paid a healthy, healthy salary of $266,649 per year is atrocious. He got caught lying multiple times and then to cover up a lie, he lied again and then he jumped to a ridiculous conclusion because in short, ownership is never taught in the academy.